welcome to this on-demand learning video. In English, we have been looking at reading comprehension. Your top tips for reading comprehension are as followed. Read the text through and get the gist. What is the general meaning? Make sure before you start answering any questions, you have done this and that you have a clear idea of what the text is about. If there are any words you are unsure of, underline these and try and use the text, the context of what you're reading, to come up with a definition for these words. This will help you have a better understanding of the whole text. When answering the questions, read them carefully and always use the text to answer. Make sure you are con constantly referring back to the text as you answer the questions. If a question is worth two marks, you need to give a more extended answer with more detail or two separate points. Remember, if you are giving two separate points, it's worth giving these as two separate bullet points so it's really clear to the marker of your text. This week in maths, we have been looking at finding percentages of amount. This week in maths, you will see here a hundred square as percent means out of a hundred. A hundred percent is the total amount of something. So 50% is half of something. This is a useful percentage to know. If 100% is the total and 50 is half of 100, then 50% is the same as a half. This means if you drank 50% of a glass of juice, you drank half of it. So to find 50% of something, we divide the total amount by two, and this helps us find 50% or a half. We can use this knowledge to help us find 20%, 25% of amounts. Here we have 72 pounds. You can see here, 72 pounds is 100%, the whole that we have. We can half this to find 50%, which is 36. And we can half this again to find 25%, which is 18. To find 25% of an amount, we can either half the total amount and half it again, or you can divide by four. We can also find 75% of amounts. Here you can see we have amount 48. This is 100% or the total of what we've got. To find 50%, we half this, which is 24. And here we then have 25%, which is half of 50%, or 12. To find 75%, then, we can either add these two together as 50 add 25 equals 75, or we can multiply 25 by 3. 75% of 48 is therefore 36. To find 75% of an amount, you first find 25% and multiply by 3, or find 50% and 25% and add these together. We can also find 10% of numbers. If you look here, you can see that 260, the number we are finding 10% of, is 100%. To find 10%, we divide our number by 10. You can see here that 10% of 260 is 26. We can then use this to find percentages for any other multiple of 10, or we can find 5% by halving it. So if we're looking at finding 40% of 260, 10% is 26, 40% is 4 lots of 10%, 40% of 260, or four lots of 26 is 104.